Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. We got everything from hoodies, snapbacks, a little bit of everything for you to dress outside of the box. Okay, today's episode, this episode is very deep and it's going to touch a lot of people and rub, ruffle a lot of feathers the wrong way. And when I say feathers, I do not mean angel feathers. I'm talking about demon feathers. Today we're talking about low vibrational music versus high vibrational music. I love that guy! And one of the examples I wanted to bring to you guys, and I know a lot of people are going to be upset after I say this, but a lot of people are going to understand. In these times, for example, the battle between Drake and Kendrick. Yes, I said it. We're going to talk about it. The battle between Drake and Kendrick. Now, both of those artists are some of the greatest artists to ever touch in hip hop. Now, let's start with Drake a little breakdown. There's reasons why Drake got to the point where he was at. See, when Drake first started, he was making high vibrational music, meaning good energy, music, love, bringing love into the, you know, into the industry where it wasn't really deemed to be the top way of selling your records. So it kind of rubbed people the wrong way, but it had a hip hop sense to it where as people could relate to it, you know, it was really good music. And then when Kendrick came into the game, when he first came into the game, he gave a depiction of a good kid. Remember what I said? A good kid. Good kid. Mad City. And he was giving people just like the, the balance between both. So both of those, excuse me, both of those artists ended up to be the greatest artists of this generation. But what we started to see is when those, both of those artists butt heads, what happened? The energy. See, when drill music came into hip hop, drill music brought in the energy of destruction. It's death music. It's telling people, you know, it's very low vibrational when it comes to like revengeful music, speaking on demonic stuff, and just, you know, highlighting the things in life that bring people down. And that's what brought it down to low energy. Now, in what happened was what people didn't realize Drake was already suffering a decline before this whole Kendrick and Drake battle came because through the drill music that type of music was starting to take over and starting to be on the rise as far as the energy of it it was so low so when Drake started to bring you cannot have a battle with a person that brings so many uplifting uplifting music and I'm not you know what before we go any further as far as this Drake and Kendrick I'm not saying the battle it has you know that's the reason why he lost or you know the ghost writing and all the other stuff that came into play but I, I could break that down for you too but I'm just keeping it on the energy the two energies that was going against each other and the reason why it came out to be this whole battle of knocking Drake out and that his energy is not the same right now and it's not level it's not to say that Kendrick Lamar has bad energy you guys are not paying attention it's to say that what he won in the battle with the particular song had that type of energy attached to it see people that have low energy love to see people going at each other versus so that builds up something that they can relate to whether if those two people are good people remember if two good people are fighting a bad person looking on that loves people fighting is they're still looking at the fight so you have to have that understanding in it it's not saying that kendrick makes bad energy music it's saying that in a battle that is a the clash relates to low energy because people with low energy like to clash and do that on a daily so now we get into that part we find an understanding here that after the battle is over and those wounds are wiped off and Kendrick comes out on top Drake is doing what he's doing we start to see that the people that was attached to that energy started to scatter because they still want more of that energy and they realize so they start telling you start hearing things oh Kendrick is a conscious rapper this and that but the truth be told is they're still attached to that type of energy 
and whether Kendrick plays the music that he always played, that to us listeners and loved his music, he always had great uplifting music. So we're used to him putting out that type of music. This was kind of a thing that he did outside of that. So now when they can't attach to that, that's when they scatter. Look, all I'm saying is if you guys want more of this conversation, you guys can tune in Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at my morning show, 9 a.m. live here on YouTube. And we can continue on this conversation. But today, we're getting into low vibrational music and high vibrational music and just how music can control the mind. Let's jump right into it. Love y'all. Mickey made it. Mickey made it. What you made, Mickey? Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. You know, hip-hop changing from positive to negative was not a consequence of history. It was not a circumstance of history. It was nothing that just happened on its own. It had nothing to do with the changing of the times. It had nothing to do with that. It had everything to do with the fact that there are people right. in this particular society who wants to see us exactly where we are. And we have to, we cannot elude, elude that, let that point elude us. These are the facts. That's a fact. Facts, facts. How do we know? 1967, Kerner Commission report on urban disorder. When black people said, yo, we're tired of this system. You know what I mean? This system is oppressing us. So we rebelled against the system. We burned things. We said, yo, we, we had enough. He did his little report on what caused these riots. He said, what caused these riots? He said it was young children who started these riots. And what was motivated, what motivating them was a high self-esteem and an enhanced racial pride. The reason that your life's not going the way that you want it to is because you're listening to terrible music. Music influences every aspect of your life. It's genius. If you listen to positive music, it's going to influence your life in a positive way. That's a fact. Facts, facts. And if you listen to negative music, it's going to influence your life in a negative way. The best thing you can do if you have a negative song stuck in your head is mentally change the lyrics to positive ones. Most of the music that we listen to, that we listen to most of the, the hood music, most of the music that's on the top charts, it's played through, it's, it's played through bad frequencies. Then you got another frequency that's 440 hertz. That's what most of the music that we listen to. Little do y'all know y'all are surrounded by nothing but bad, dark energy. Most of the music that you listen to, you could be in a car on your way to work, just having a regular nice day and you turn on the music and out of nowhere you start feeling moody. You start feeling depressed. And it's not the music, it's not the artist, it's the frequency that they playing the music on. So you have 432 frequency. Look it up on YouTube, bro. This is why it's important to be careful what you're If I play with those frequencies, right? I can target certain parts of the mind, target the frequency to go to certain parts of the mind, and I can literally. I like, use if this I want to you make to astral music, project, right? You know what astral projection is? Yeah. I want you to ask, if I want you to astral project, or if I want you to go to sleep, or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. Music is magic. It reprograms your subconscious mind. This is why you remember the lyrics, because it's stored within your subconscious. 90% of your behavior is manifested from the programs within your subconscious. Listening to negative Warfare. music, you are programming your subconscious mind to manifest negativity. Music is frequency, and frequency is the only thing that can go inside of you without your consent, affecting your cells and your water structure no matter what. Saying positive things has a positive effect on your cells and water say negative things has a negative effect music changes your intent emotional state and thoughts this is why you become sad when you listen to a slow beat song we're not meant to be listening to music with choruses Repetitive beats and loops within music create thought loops within your mind. In nature, everything is transforming. There is no chorus within nature. Our mind should be constantly evoluting. Music degrades women. Women hold the portal into the physical world. The uterus comes from the U Taurus. Here's the uterus. It's the portal from out of counter space into the physical realm. Egyptian Ankh is the portal, the womb and the uterus. The Freemasons wear the M. M is for mother, maker, and matter. Every single one of you has to come through the mother to get into matter, the M. They are degrading women within the music. You cast spells when you speak. This is why listening to music is casting spells upon your subconscious. That's why you need to be careful what music you listen to. Because if music can get rid of a demon, it can attract one. 
and most of the music out here now attracts demons, then you wonder why your lifestyle, you're grooving and bumping in the car, but when you get out, you can't wait to figure out why your life is standing still. Sometimes it's the music that you're listening to, because whoever you listen to was on them attaches itself to you. Rick Joyner said that he was in a vision. The Lord told him, he said in the last days, he said the enemy will bring up singers and, and other musicians, he said, and they will baptize millions of people into the demonic in one moment. Whoever you accept, mm, you get what's on them. I reject a whole lot of stuff. So I reject stuff in the world. Unfortunately, I reject a lot of stuff in what we call church. You know, not all gospel music is gospel. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. Man, I'm gonna I'm be totally honest with y'all. The whole world, this type of music right here don't make you wanna love nobody. This type of music right here ain't gonna make you wanna care about nobody. And I'm just gonna keep it all the way real. The type of music that we keep on consuming, it ain't nothing but death. It don't do nothing but kill everything inside of you. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because I'm constantly seeing people who really want relationships. They want love. They want to be understood. You know what I'm saying? They want healthy relationships. But how you going to have that when this is the type of music that we uh, constantly consume in our community or just in the world? F that boy. F that girl. F this person. F like how, man? How you going how you going to even have love when you keep producing this type of hate? You see what I'm saying? That music don't make you care about nobody. It really don't. It just promotes death and everything. Think about it. All it do is continue to keep on causing a, a rivalry and a division because when old girl dropped the uh, F and F, F boy free, guess what? Dudes came out and dropped the F girl free. But once again, see that type of energy go back and forth. Oh, you don't like me? I don't like you either. That was the m mentality and the mindset. How you gonna have, how you gonna have unity? When you got that type of thing going back and forth. That music, music is powerful, man. We ain't got no type of, we ain't got, we do, but it's not popular. We don't have no type of music that uh, talks about loving somebody, being loyal to somebody, respecting somebody, respecting men and women. Now you got the women running around, acting, talking how the men talk. See what I'm saying? That's, that's, that, man, that music got to go. I ain't going to lie to you. I feel like this. If, if y'all going to support these rappers, tell them don't come back out the studio until they got something that's going to give you life. Because right now what they giving you is death. That's why can't nobody love nobody. Everything is always about chasing money, but yet you know you be long. Stop listening to lower vibrational music. True. This post is spot on, so just pay very close attention to the kind of music you're listening to. Uh, any I am statements, uh, radio jingles, anything like that really. Music and jingles can bypass into your subconscious a lot faster than words. To the point where it's almost subliminal, especially, you know, you're in a grocery store, or you're driving in the car, you're not really paying attention and your mind's elsewhere. That stuff is sinking in. I mean, have you really paid close attention to the lyrics in Material Girl by Madonna? I mean, they're borderlining on programming you to be a total consumerist. So next time you have your playlist on, just be a little bit more mindful as to what you're actually listening to and taking in. Y'all gonna hate me for this, but I gotta tell y'all, did you know that your phone, your TV, listen, your listen. computer, your electronics, everything is having conversations with you? Not just these people? Let me put it to you like this. The word con means to convince somebody something. The word verse means to give it to them in a few words. And the word station means to make them feel something. So if you put that all together, did you understand that everything in this world is trying to change your state of mind by convincing you to do something by which you hear or see or feel? There's a reason why all my playlists are positive music. And I'm explaining to you guys right now why it's actually really helpful. Okay, the thing you have to understand is that when you're listening to positive music or any music there for all, you are putting yourself on the frequency of the type of music that you're listening to. So if you're listening to super sad music, you're gonna feel like shit. You're gonna feel really sad, you're gonna feel really anxious, you're gonna feel like really like sad overall. 
And the reason why you're, li- you're feeling sad is because you're putting yourself on that frequency of the type of music that's being played. The type of content and information that you're receiving is going into your brain and it's making you feel a certain type of way. And the reason why I listen to positive music a lot is not so that I'm suppressing my sad emotions. I feel my sad emotions when I need to and I just sit with them. The reason why I listen to positive music is because it keeps me on that frequency of thinking positive and aligning myself with what I wanna do in my life. It aligns myself with my goals and my passions and honestly just keeping a positive energy throughout the day, all day, every day. Whenever I meet people, I'm always in a really positive and exciting, happy mood. And sometimes I can be in a really pissed off mood. But if you put a positive song on, you feel really, really great. You feel super good after like five minutes of listening to it because you're just like, I love this song. It's a throwback. It's a really fun, exciting song. Or it's just a song that makes, makes you feel better overall. Start listening to those songs more and more. And just start slowly removing any negative, sad songs that you, that you just listen to regularly because it does nothing for you at the end of the day. I get it, sometimes you need to cope. And I used to do that too. I used to do that a lot where I would just listen to sad songs and just feel sorry for myself all the time. But once I stopped doing that, I saw a gradual increase in, in my happiness level overall and just how I was doing. And I just started to feel better about every single day. I just I stopped like caring so much about sad things and bullshit that was going on and petty shit and I just got over it and I was just like, you know what? Life is good. Start listening to positive music because I promise you that shit actually changes your life. (laughs) So does the weekend have low vibrational music? Disclaimer, I don't think low vibrational music is necessarily bad. I think there's a time and place for it. Sometimes it's the only type of art that someone can connect to. But I've seen this artist in particular uh, be pegged as someone with low vibrational music, so I wanted to dive in. I listened to their first body of work and then compared it to their most previous body of work. So, House of Balloons, the first album that was released by The Weeknd, uh, a lot of people said it was very ahead of its time, um, is super, super low vibrational. Listening to this felt like I was walking through mud, literally. What I'm getting is this sort of unhealthy aspect of his Scorpio moon, a self-sabotaging aspect of his Scorpio moon, channeled through this art. So, The Weeknd's most recent body of work, Dawn FM, is actually quite good. It's not low vibrational. You're not going to have epiphanies, but this is an artist that changed over time. I disguise it as like a negative thing, like a satanic thing, but if you really look into the deep meaning, it's like positive meaning. Well, you heard it here first. He means positive, positive spirit. Oh, cause it's nine ghosts, which is positive spirit is like the definition of it. But the reason I do that is because a lot of the music that does get mainstream today is satanic, it is negative. So disguising it as sort of like a negative name, but when you listen to the music, the message is positive. Less people will be like, oh, it's corny music, oh, it's whatever, and the media will actually push it out because what they think, just from the name, it is something negative, something that they like to promote. But the way that they talk about themselves, the way that they promote themselves and present themselves is negative because People try to live up to those images and they think that's what's popular, that's what's good. Okay, and just to expand a little more on the conversation that that I started at first. It's not to say that Kendrick or Drake are any bad artists. They're both high energy, inspirational music selling artists. But somehow they found themselves in a place where was dominating the music industry. And that's that demonic driven music things that you have to fight to get your kind of solution and i hope they find themselves in a place where they can get back to the place where their creativity is more attractive to the world than this demonic fighting so when you hear me say the versus people going at each other it's not the hip-hop in the hip-hop way it's just the way of that bad energy death music you guys let me know what you feel down down below leave your comments and you know i always get back to you and we can have this conversation on my morning show Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 a.m. Love you guys. And if you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now.